Hello, today I'm going to introduce iteration, area path, and team configuration. When I say I'm going to introduce, I will do it in a simple level. And as we progress with this series of videos, with this series of tutorials, I will make it more complicated. For now, let's go and uh, see what we have here. I will choose a project. I will go to project settings and I will see under project configurations that I have iterations and areas. And I have created uh, uh, by default four iterations are created. How can I have my iterations created? I can have it. I will now do it more complicated and that, that I will return in a simple way. So let's go here. And let's delete this one. Okay. And delete this one. Okay. And delete this one. Okay. And rename this one. And I will say release one. Okay. And I will save and close. And now I will say I want a new child. And I will say Sprint one. And I will say new child. Sprint two. And of course it, it cannot be like that. So I will I will drag and drop it here. And I will have sprint one, sprint two. And I can have new child and say sprint, but not here. OK, go here and new child and say sprint three. So basically, I can have multiple sprints under one release or I can make it simple as I will do. I can delete this one and I will now go and say new child under ERP project and I will say sprint one. And let's say it starts you see, today is 15th of May, next Monday, 22nd of May. And let's say that our sprints are going to last two weeks. So if it starts here, the whole week and the second whole week, it will finish at next Friday and save and close. If I go now and say new child, and if I go to create sprint number two, you will see if I choose the start date here that I will automatically have fifth, the first working day after the end of previous sprint, fifth of June, and I will finish it on 16th of June. And let me create another one. So let's go here and say new child. And I will say sprint number three. And if I go to start date, you will see that it will start on 27. Oh, yeah, sure. So when you make a mistake, you can go here. OK, sprint number two. And I will say it starts on six. It starts on uh, 16th, which shouldn't be. It should start on fifth. Sorry, here, fifth. And it should be end on 16th and I will now save and close. That's make a sense. Now new child, sprint three and start date is now obviously Monday. Okay. And you will see the end date will be calculated two weeks after. So you don't have to go over and over and over again. Let me show you another one. Okay. Let's go here. New child and I will say sprint number sprint number four and if i choose a start date here and if i choose this one immediately after uh, after the last sprint i will have start and end date because azure devops recognize that my sprint is two weeks long okay that is about iterations and sprints let's go see what is in areas 
one team can work in one or more than one areas, multiple areas, and multiple teams can work on multiple area. So first of all, let's see what areas do we have. I will click here, project configuration areas, and I have ERP project. This is default area and it cannot be deleted. I will create two child's child. First is be receivables. Second will be, okay, come on, new child payments. So you get to figure what areas are. Each and every item can fall into one area and teams can work on one or multiple areas. So it can work on this area or all areas. So how can we know which team works on which areas? For that purpose, I go to team configuration. And now you see that here I have four tabs. Templates, which is about how the template suite look like, but this is advanced features and I'm not going to show you today. Areas, iteration and general. Let's see general. General say, see only the backlogs your team manage. Backlog navigation having, uh, levels are features and stories. I will put an epics as well because I want that my team can manage everything. Epics, feature and stories. Okay, working days are which working days the team is going to work on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday are by default cho choose. So it means when you will, uh, when we will have to calculate capacity and remaining work and burn down and everything what comes with Agile, we should be aware that we sh that Azure DevOps should know which days are working days. Of course, there are some exceptions that can be set up, but by default, ma from Monday to Friday, my team is going to work. And now working with bugs. This is very important. Set your team's preference of how to manage your bugs. So bugs are managed with tasks, bugs are managed by requirements, bugs are not managed uh, on backlogs on boards. If you choose this one, then bugs are not going to be shown on your sprint backlog. If you want to choose this one, and I prefer this one, it means when you create a bug, and if you know, if you want to know what to do, you will have to create tasks with uh, uh, with efforts and those tasks should be fulfilled before you can consider your bug closed or bugs are managed via requirement with requirements which are we not going to use so basically when you when you choose how you are going to handle or work with your bugs be aware that you can manage them without tasks so they are not going to have tasks but in that case they are not going to be on backlogs on boards or you are going to manage them with the tasks so that is the first thing okay now iterations let's see which iterations is my team going to work on so i will choose this one I will choose this one, I will choose this one, and I will choose this one. So each and every sprint will be assigned to this team. Why is that important? Because let's say that you have two teams. One team can work, let's say, on, will work on sprint one and sprint seven, the, and the other team will work on sprint two, three, four, five, and six. Since, since this is very simple, 
case, in my case, I will put all sprints for my team. Now areas in which areas is going to my team is going to work in this area as well. And I can choose payments. OK, and receivables. So my team is going to work on everything. And that is how iterations, area path and team camp configurations can be set. Of course, be aware that in the complex project, when you will have multiple teams, multiple areas, you can combine them that some teams can work on some areas and some sprints and some teams cannot. So let's say that you have team A and team B. Team A, for example, will work on payments. Team B is going to work on receivables. Team A is going to work on sprint one and two and team B on sprint three and four. This is in iterations and area set. And in general, you are going to set how your bugs are going to be managed, what are your backlog navigation levels, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so working days. Okay, Nenat, stop talking. This is fuzzy. But from the next time, I'm going to start to create real items and everything which be much more clear uh, when I show you how to create items. By items, I mean epics, user stories, bugs, etc. Until then, have a nice day.